Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and last time we manifested really hard on the north. But right now we're going to take a close cradle and a few more states before we go to war with the NCR. Should be a good time overall. Let them attack us a little bit. Got some naval strikers here and there. Got plenty of planes and whatnot. Uh huh. And some light attackers. That's nice. But probably not going to use us anyways. Monoplanes. There you go. And more jet attack planes. And then when we're done with that, we're going to get some more support equipment as well. Because we know we love this stuff here. Where do you at? Oh, we also want to go to the Timberline too. There you go. Because in the meantime, I want to see what you guys are cooking up here. Uh, will that open up another thing for us? Another front, I should say. Good. Economic resurgence is fine. Put them in their place. Everyone can go in now. Let's see what you can do. Oh, force in the defense. I love it. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of damage. I'm glad we're doing it. All right. So how's this side doing? We're doing really well. Just our minigun just opening fire on all these guys. Well, look, that's a fast way to kill off 21,000 soldiers. Love it. All right. 10 more divisions. Nice, 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 nice. And so here we're at. Now we've got to set ourselves up for hopefully success. Hopefully we've got enough armies for this. Uh, any more divisions we do make, though, I do want to make, put in reserve just in case. Because, uh... Well, they're going to come try to steamroll us pretty hard, I'm pretty sure. And they're going to try to navally invade us and whatnot. And so we got to be ready for that. Alright, so there's that. That should be any and all waterways. Maybe it's for up here. So any divisions we do make, uh, I'm going to send up to this region here. As we're going to core a little, few, a little bit more if we possibly can. We don't need it, but it'd be nice to have. Uh, the Air Force is going to be incredibly strong. You know what? Take a thousand. Go right there. Get even more. Go right there. More go right there. It's fine. The Air Force is going to be very strong, unfortunately, for us. Which is fine. That's something we just have to be very, very aware of. Never build anti air, but we'll see if it has any use. So finding New Vegas. Uh, got plenty of money. All good Murphy has quite a few thousand manpower. They're on war never changes. And they got tons of divisions. Tons upon tons upon tons upon tons of divisions. As to be expected, of course. So if we were to go to war with them, would we be able to take them out? That is the real question. What do we be able to win? Perchance. Perhaps. We should try it. Do we have enough divisions for this? Probably not. Decrypt their ciphers, that's fine. I think we're trying to decrypt their ciphers too. We haven't done it already, so. Three fighters and whatnot. So, they have a couple divisions down there. Tons of divisions. New Vegas is gone, which is not good for us. Um, oh, they're fighting a royal in New Vegas, too, but still. Yeah, 
You guys aren't that great anyways, but let's just go home. Just prepare. Go in if you possibly can. We have no divisions here, so... Interesting. I'm really wondering where the divisions are at, but alright. Some guys flying through here too, not good. Uh, be very careful about this. North here is fine. Air Force wise, how are we doing? Doing alright. Last couple guys here and there. They got quite a few planes. They have some very, very, very good planes though, unfortunately. Ever broken? No, we got eight days left for it. It's not that bad. Did you guys win here yet? There you go. And now they're going. That's good. Have they tried to nearly invade us yet? No, good, okay. Well, you can go down this way to the front then. See if we can do that. See if we can try to make an instrument. Good. Still a little laggy, but what do you expect? If you thought we didn't have manpower before, just wait till we get all this stuff done. Whew. This is not looking ideal. Yeah. New Vegas, you gotta hold on for us. Just a little bit. Good. Just has so many divisions, it's not funny. They're like bugs. They're literally just crawling out of every hole possible. Their divisions aren't strong, at least, but still. I mean, they're just encircling us because there's just so many. Just got robots on us, what the heck. This stuff is fine. Hey, I got a circle of flax out. That's pretty good. How would you make and keep that encirclement? So this war against NCR is going to go fine. I'm not super worried about this too much. Um, we've already killed off quite a few of them. We've got rid of quite a few enemy divisions, too. We've done mostly damage here. Of course, they've done some. But Wars of a New World. Oh, we've achieved technical, technological excellence. excellence. We're some of the smartest people in the entire waste, yeah, but you can't win wars with only knowledge. And violence is necessary. You can use that knowledge to use it as a precise instrument. We can create wondrous weapons for our regular troops, fast armor vehicles up to pre-war standards, advanced autonomous killing machines, or power armor and special forces gear that can transform any human being into a killing machine. But even our resources aren't limitless, so we'll have to pick a field to specialize in. How shall we matter to the master the battlefield? Special forces? Tech? Power armor. Well, we got special forces. I think that's probably the best one to do. Well, here we're at. Uh, oh, well, actually, we're doing all right. Ah, oh, Shady Sands just fell. Um, free fighters not doing so well either against us, but that's okay. It's the way we like it. Um, they cut us off, unfortunately. It's not good, actually. Um, is it possible for you guys to get down here, maybe? Uh, it might not be. It might be, though. So get in there first if you can. Uh, we're just trying to research a lot of things here. We've got six research lists now, and we've beaten up most of the NCR here. So we're just waiting for them to be destroyed. While well, the Republic of the Rio Grande also wants to come kill us too. It's going to be a while until we get there. Um, we got to go to Texas Arms Association, Republic of the Rio Grande. How strong is it? Because at this point, the NCR is basically dead. It's, it's a few more days and they'll be completely gone. They took out New Vegas, which is expected. And they have quite a few divisions too, unfortunately. But it should be too bad. 
All that stuff is done. The game's pretty laggy. We could strike Lost Hills, but we already have the war goal for them, so there's no point in doing that. Oh. Forgot to mend territories. Oops. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Uh, we're all done here. We're done here. Are we done here? We're gonna hurt ourselves a little more, but that's alright. Anything else here? Oh, yeah, we do. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ah. You just refuse to die for some stupid reason. Hmm, so there's that. God dang it. Where's my navy? There you are. There you go, good. You should be able to find quite a bit here and there. Oh, there goes NCR, that's good. Uh, I don't want to really invade though, uh, those people, so... Jet attack airplanes. Well, we're going to do nuclear powered. Nuclear t powered. Uh, nuclear powered. And then. Some more. Oh, which one is this one? This one we've upgraded? No. Yeah, this is the one we've upgraded. So this is ground attacks 10. 10. Reliability is 40%, reliability is 80%. Yeah, this one's the one we don't need. This one. Because we lost a lot of planes in the war against NCR. Boom, there we go. Uh, are they all part of the Rio Pact? How about this? You guys do this. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. God, the game's lacking super hard. Oh boy. You guys do this. You should be able to find stuff down here too. God, I just want to end the war. What else do you have here? Hope. We're going to go with hope. Should be nice. Come on, ferry more soldiers over. We want to find where you're at. So if we can, we're just gonna go launch ourselves in there and blow them up. I think that'd be for the best. Ooh, no more output. I mean, we don't really need the output now. That's all right. Good. No other messes there, which is good. And then what? I want to put a Myler. Create Myler and Morat divisions. Eh, protecting your farms and retaining wild animals sounds more, more practical. Sea emitters. Oh, definitely this one. Get some horses. You don't need it whatsoever, but whatever. I'm very surprised we haven't found anything here to destroy them. Restoration of War. Yeah, that worst part would be nice. Chaco planes are alright. Advanced Forces. Can you actually do your freaking job? My good god. Stop getting naval invaded. I hate the naval invasion system so much sometimes, man. It's not as bad as Hoy 3, but. Whew. Sometimes it's really just not fun. What if we take these guys on and smash through them? Maybe. So how can they naval invade when we have four task forces? I mean, why 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 is that happening now? 
Why didn't you catch him earlier? Like, bro, come on. Do your job. Can you do do your freaking job? Oh, that's annoying. We need to complete and get rid of all these guys so we can put some soldiers over here so we can have a solid front line moving in and out all, all over the place. Hello? Yeah. Thank God. It's fine. I just want you to exterminate them. Level four, only level four? Mm, should be higher than that now, or whatever. That'd be 2290, everybody. So with that one done, that's nice. You're gonna come back up here, help finish these guys off as well. Because they're annoying. Yeah, put them in there too. Put them around where the Colorado is. Come on. Could you... Okay, you're not even moving. I want to fire you from your job. At least we found him. I was like, Cora, you've done a terrible job. At least we're getting some experience. Yeah, special forces are nice. Good. 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 And boom, there you go. Dream lifter. Thank God. All right, so you guys are gonna do your best and hold there. So we're gonna lose parts of Texas here and there. It's fine, whatever. Um, but we'll smash, go oh, and smash them through Pecos. At least that's the plan. Hopefully with so many ships it won't matter and whatnot. Level 5, that's good. I'm very surprised she hasn't learned anything yet. Fleet Protector, Spear Tactician, Blue Water Expert, Green Water Expert. All good stuff. We should also get some roads down here too, just in case. Boop, boop, boop. Or roads, radar. We're gonna lose a couple divisions here and there, aren't we? Frontline's gonna have to smash through no matter what. Oh, this is gonna be disastrous, isn't it? Because we got holes all over the place here. You know what? It's fine. Oh, we got even holes up here too. God, how many things, how many places do they have? Well, then we know the army then. This one first. R64, cha ching. Uh oh. Y'all better hurry up. How many ships we got repairing? No, no, that's good. Hey, at least your soldiers got down. That's good. Planes looking okay. Not great. Alright. We're gonna save. Oh, crap. We got, they even have divisions up there. Okay, so this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Oh. 
you know, I'm gonna bounce that a little bit more, and I'll see you when we're like halfway through the war against these guys. State of the Union address. On what television screen still function within the American wasteland, a broadcast played across those in the column Asylum's Corner. Upon the screen, two men dressed in fine suits appeared, although they were quite different in appearances. Hello, America, the man on the left said. My name is Sean Murphy, and I'm the man formerly known as the Mighty Caesar, or Kaiser. The man on the right said with a chuckle. In unison, they proclaimed that we are American citizens. The column Asylum represents the best interests of American citizens. Everywhere, Murphy placed his hand on his chest, so please support them and support America. Kaiser stretched out his hands as if beckoning the audience to join them. Together we can make this country great again. The two men joined hands and raised them high. Clapping from the audience was heard before the broadcast finally came to a close. E pluribus unum. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's so lucky. We already uh, finally capitulated the Free Fighters. Oh, man. It's lagging super hard. Um, yay. Uh, and then our America. And we could annex NCR too. While there may be pretenders and contenders left to challenge us, our success proves that we have the right to claim the mantle of the United States of America. For anyone that disputes us, we shall simply sally forth and correct their mental delusions. We'll claim everything that belongs to the United States of America. Well, we kind of already are. As you can see, we've already destroyed a lot of uh, these people here, and I'm really sick and tired of this war already, because it's very annoying. So we're going to take up Kaiser. Don't worry about the other Kaiser we talked about earlier. Um, office politics, don't care. Code, persons of interest, prepare a new director of marketing. Ah, oh, sure. Why not? We'll do like three at a time. Rehabilitate the leadership of Lost Hills. I got the turbine. We got stuff down here. I've ignored a lot of this just because it's been annoying trying to take out uh, the Republic of the Rio Grande. It has been especially like air stuff. South Texas has been terrible. Well, we destroyed most of the air force. Um, as you can see, that our air superiority is just better. Number like stats-wise, they've had more. But we've been able. Oh, hello. Uh, been able to just tear them down a little bit here and there. Well, crap. Yep, I guess you're not going to go to war with Kaiser then. You're going to come over here. Thank God the NCR's dead though. They were so annoying. And it, may, it just makes the game lag super, super hard too. For desolation. We're still taking these guys out. Taking forever. There's not too much left up here. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty sparse. Let's go down just. Uh huh. Yeah. Anti armor blimp, that's fine. Yeah, they're going to take us soon. Uh, nomenclature. Our new state now controls a significant portion of the United States of America. But do we want to declare ourselves a new United States or choose something else to represent our uniqueness? We aspire to be to the USA, but we're not there yet. The column asylum we know as American Rehabilitation Zone. This is America, the United States of America. Well, we need American values. Hey, this is the United States of America. Oh, look at that. Very nice. What do we have next? Ah. American dream revived. To truly dream the American dream, one must have an untro untroubled mind. A calm mind, if you will. Merge your previous ideas into one strong one. Yay. Oh, say, can you hear? God dang it, Lost Hills. I hope you're there, guys. Come on. Come on. How much more of the Republic of the Rio Grande do we have to take out? Jesus Christ. Oh, I hate Mexico. I mean, most of the divisions we've already destroyed and circled and whatnot, as you see. You know, but uh, okay, thank god. Their navy actually whooped ours pretty badly here and there, so I had to tell our naval guys to go home. So, this was stupid. I hate this war. What a giant pain in the butt! Basic conference effects. There you go. All right, so with that in mind, I'm gonna have you guys come up here too, just in case for support. Uh, do that. You guys can come up here. We lost quite a few divisions. As you see, we're rolling 14 down here. Um, but I'm going to have you guys take out Guerreros. That'd be nice. You guys down here too. You can do that as well. God. Alrighty. Boom, ba -dum. Well, honestly, we don't need a single one of these. Hmm, it's a better range. Yeah. Now we're gonna be out of resources. Not ideal, but whatever.
very unreliable ships or planes. Well, at least it looks, it's looking better so far. Did you guys make it here yet? No. Okay. Yeah, that is to be expected. Here about to the leader of the cons. Sure. And the rot purgers. Warns of the white. Washington Brotherhood. Kaiser's Legion. And leadership of the NCR. Come on, how about we do our jobs? How about we do it? Come on. Get your butts up here. Can you like attack him, please? Like they're taking out a lot of our territory. I really don't want to deal with this. Like up here, this giant mess. You're gonna be late. You might as well do this. Do your job. Capture all those bunkers. Good. Kill them all. I'm sure we got a lot to do here. Oh yeah. Oh look how look how laggy it is. That is not a deal. Oh. Oh, it doesn't crash the game. I feel like it could. I'm not sure if we're meant to co like code or core everything in the wasteland. But you never know. Alright, so at least that's done, taken care of. Um, take out those guys. We take out the Vice Royalty. We're just going to take out everybody as much as we possibly can right now. That is the plan. Oh, so can you hear? One final morning, or one fine morning, Midas decided to calibrate her audio receptors. Outside her office window, she could hear a platoon of Aura literally singing the national anthem. Outside her front door, she could hear a new batch of employees being given a description of methods and procedures. Mainly beyond the din of general activity, she could make out the screams of patients in the secure ward. To cry in the place is insane. She knew that soon they would be singing the nation's praises. It's a beautiful day in this beautiful country. Hey, that's great. Okay, that leadership was lost hill. Yeah, about a cultist that need to be reformed. I think we got it. The only flag that matters. That was an impressive sight. The agent, spe special agent felt, looking upon the great bonfire that organized at MacArthur Base. Uh, countless Americans all gathered around, hurling worthless banners, carrying the evil E upon its flames. In turn, they waved the old stars and stripes, untarnished by the symbols of the arrogant men, loudly proclaiming their loyalty to the true America. With this, would that his tear duct still function properly, the hulking mass would weep for his fallen countrymen. So many killed in the name of nothing, you simply have to dedicate all of his strength to the beautiful American future where death happened only with age. Star Spangled Banner yet waves. Nice, where is that? Actually, win against these guys or nah? That's a real question. Come on. I don't understand why they, they we still have this here. I, I, are the devs inclining or thinking about maybe developing them? Or stuff like that. I'm not sure how much use we actually have for them. Are they missing robots? Yeah, combat robots. Look at that. Turns out motors is fine. No, 
as long as they feel inclined to attack us. Should be okay. We do quite a bit of damage. Especially appearing weak. That's alright. That was the idea. Flying Fortress is nice. The American Orb, Samson, had never been happier. So long as he had been obsessed with the dismal black orb that granted him uh, waxing and waning fortunes. Now he had a shiny new orb, covered in the glorious colors of red, white, and blue. He had one question to ask of it. A speak, o orb, tell me what I may do for my country. The shaken orb displayed in response, clean up litter. Clean up litter? And with so much jubilation, Samson acquired his trusty trash grab and headed out of his community, into his community. There he would clean the streets until his arms grew tired and that day called for him to rest. But there really was always another day and always another way to serve one's country. His patriotism is infinite. Samson will stop referring to himself by a blasphemous title and live his days as Golly Patriot Samson. There we go. The prodigal sons, Julius Brandt, stood before his wards with a renewed sense of pride and contentment. For so long they have been a force of contempt upon the world, they have been destroying lives, oppressing American people, and the generally besmirched country's reputation. He himself had resented the country that had given him all. He was lost, but the calm son found him and saved him from being a wretch. Remember my fellow Americans, Julius addressed his soldiers as they stood at attention? Now we fight for safety and freedom for America. A cheer erupted from the gathered wardens. Now they are the orderlies of the white. Truth and reconciliation. Rutger had been living on the down low for a long, long time. Even if he wanted to run far from this place, the wounds he had received fighting the Immortals Infall Empire would slow him down too much. All he had left was to huddle in the side and pray to God that it was never discovered. He still had visitors from town to town, friends that came to offer supplies and trade them for what little he had. Uh, he always took out a shotgun with him when he answered the door as he did today. <coughs> At the door was a white clad stranger. Hello, are you Rutger at McAvoy? The calm, or oddly calm woman asked him. He was asking Rutger grips his weapon tightly. We have a visitor for you, sir. The woman stepped back. Rutger's heart nearly leapt out of his chest as the former the immortal himself rounded the corner. He tried to raise a shotgun, but before he could, the immortal had him in an evil, choking embrace. And yet, after thinking in himself dead for a few seconds, Rutger realized his grasp was gentle. He was also sure he could hear crying. I'm so sorry for what we did to you, Mr. McAvoy. It was a voice that would find small children, yet seemingly carrying the sincere tragedy of a weeping widow. Unable to understand what was happening, Rucker went limp. After some time of sobbing from the immortal, he sat Rucker down in a chair and bowed deeply. We have many other victims to visit. Let's, let's go. Have a nice day, Mr. McAvoy. The woman and the immortal left him in peace, but it would take some time before Rucker was at peace with himself. The first step on the path to rehabilitation. The immortal will now identify himself as merely a mortal American. What kind of map do you guys have? That's cool. Oh, we got a crap on Mankar. What is super psychology? Apparently, uh, supermans were delusional enough to believe that they were the master race. There's no such thing, but there's a master culture we must remind them of. That's right. I'm tired of waiting. He started going in. Cleansing the cult. Now, some of the brothers began to revere the name Maxon a little too much. The tendency was towards being cultish and fanatical rather than principled. These days are now over, however. The calm of some had come and given them a new purpose and uh, unity as American citizens. The only cultish worship would be of one country, of the flag and republic for which it stands. Nothing civilized us more than the leadership of Lost gathering for a symbolic burning of all things related to the traitorous Maxon of yore. Together they held hands and sang the national anthem as Flame Cleanse the Original Sin. Never again. But they refused an order from a rival American authority. America is the only chain that binds. Uh, let me go with that one. They do quite a few divisions, don't they? Uh, the vice royalty should be dead basically by now. Come on, let's do your job. All the core lands have been taken, so I'm not sure why we're taking so long with this one. This is so stupid. Just, just, just kill them. Just, just kill them. It doesn't take too much to kill something. Oh, the more spread out. Hopefully, the easier it'll be to take them out one on one. 
Should have more command power. But we're always losing stability and whatnot, too. Sucks that we couldn't get vertebrates, but maybe next time we play this campaign. Next time we play this, I'm definitely not taking out the entire wasteland, though. Definitely not. I hate doing it. It's one of the rare times I'll actually do it. Nice. So, do we get encircled down here? Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. It'd probably make more sense to just have one person do it here. Instead of that many armies doing it. Um, still got to get the last patrol and whatnot. For the next turbine. Well, as long as there's no other major decisions we need to take. I read that one. Asylum Adaption. Uh, the Wardens had an ingenious device for the purpose of helping prisoners cool down. Now it can make use of the space for inmates as well. Point setismo. We'll be on, they'll be Americans. Victory at last. Something like that. Huh. That's the cry of war for the fatherland, and then the northern states of America owe America our home and native land. With the press of a button, the first batch of M Mayas is activated. Maya was once one, but now she has many. Although these units had all been unique androids of once upon a time, their shells have been repurposed, and their minds are programmed into Maya's image. Hello, Maya, one greeted another. Good day to you, Maya, greeted back. Ladies, the original Maya's voice rang out through the crowd, who turned to face her. We have a country to save. Let's get to work. An army of Mayas. Ooh. Maya top combat. Oh, a Maya division. Oh my gosh. Um. How does that compare to what we have currently? Uh, holy crap. Darn, I wish we unlocked these earlier. So we use nothing but Mayas. So that's 20 combat width. The robo orderlies that we used right now. Well. I have nothing compared to these guys. This is similar to heart attack. Half the, we have half the air attack. L M less than h half the defense. Breakthroughs higher though on these robots, on our normal robots. We get more initiative on our normal robots. More breakthrough initiative. Uh, a little more armor. Better piercing, but that's because we haven't had any anti, any anti tank. More HP. But this gets way more organization. So if we fully upgraded these to what we normally have right now CNC bots, CNC, CNC, anti tank maintenance. This is what we'd look like. We'd have way less armor, but our stats would be way better, and all faster. HP is very good with organization. Wow. Well, I wish I realized that we could use these as an actual army. Uh-huh. Okay. Just delete it. We're just gonna convert you over. So up left is uh, Imlea, and we're doing uh, this one, and I've got Poinsettismo as well. We should be all right overall. It does take quite a few miles to get done though. That's why I put you there, just in case. So we're going to go to war with them. How things turn out for them. Are you under cybernetics? Where's the Maya stuff? Is it robots? Tradition of Southern Empires. The Great Northern States. The Treaty of Ghent formally ended the War of 1812, resulting in the admittance of what was once a collection of British colonies into the United States. Jubilation spread across these states. One celebration in New York or New Washington it became known as after its admission to the Union was so raucous that the entire town instead of slept off its hangover. Historian Benson John Lawson argued that the jubilation shown during this time period was exceptional, except from the Great Northern States, published by the Calm Mines Burning House 2292. The True North, strong and free, stability, war support, Canada, a fading memory, better weekly manpower, resistance strike and resistance growth speed. The most northern US states will be scoured of incorrect place names resulting from great war and confusion. God bless America. So, like, what? Up here? No. Rapid City, Tabernacle, Last Redoubt. Well, okay.
I really want to see these Maya divisions in action, but, you know, it's at the end of the campaign, unfortunately. And we're only making three a day. I'm not really worried about Malaya, so. Yeah, I've just been one heck of a campaign. Apologize for being a little uh, frustrated earlier, but that seems pretty normal when you do these types of campaigns, which is, I don't like, which is why I don't like doing them. Like, uh, all the way through campaigns. This is very tedious, and I don't like being tedious. I'm getting old. I don't like doing tedious things, you know? Nice. There's quite a, few, quite a bit of lag as well. And that's the United States of America. We've got to finish two more boxes after this one. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully the lag won't be too much. Hopefully that helps with the lag a little bit. Oh, hello. Well, still got Legion here, apparently. For the fatherland, Herman was dying. The medics were working to save him, but he knew it was pointless. He could feel his life leaving him. He would not have it any other way. The rebels had to be stopped. They were spreading seditious lies, claiming that Mexico did not join the United States during the struggle against the Spanish. Had they been allowed to continue, they might throw the country into chaos. He would have laid down 10,000 lives if he had them to give. As the light faded from him, one of the rebels screamed at him. It was as if they were calling his name but mispronouncing it. Hernan rather than Herman. The rebels truly had a poor standard of living. They should thank him, he thought, for with his death they would enjoy better lives as proper Americans. He breathes his last for America's sake. Look at that. Poor Herman. He did what he had to. For the good of America. What a true American patriot. Let's repair turbines and do this one. Let's get rumors. Sure. Heavy paddle steamers. At this point, it doesn't really matter. We just want to finish these focuses. Super psychology. Apparently, super mutants were delusional enough to believe that they were the master race. There's no such thing, but there's a master culture we must remind them of. And then we'll finish off with... Asylum Adaptation, which we read earlier, so... Yeah, Construction Speed Output, and then this stuff. The Cooler Asylum. Yeah. Sure. I think that's pretty much all the focuses we can do. I don't think there's anything left for us. Power of the purse, huh? Not bad, not bad. I thoroughly enjoyed this campaign. I mean, it's been a pretty fun campaign overall. It, I mean, at the end, it's tedious. And maybe I should have started expanding a little faster. But getting those my divisions is actually really cool. I wish I got to them earlier. It just takes so long to produce them. And right now, I mean, we're obviously very dominant. I mean, literally, we own the entire wasteland. And I do know I have not been using the East Coast Rebirth mod. There's also now a sub mod for Old World Blues that does add it in. Florida, and then there's a little corridor around the Gulf that adds in the rest of the Gulf Strip down here, just so they can get to Florida and whatnot. So there's a lot of there's a lot of work going on Old World Blues. So there's a the community's not huge, but it's a growing community still. And it's, you know the developers for all the mods, the main for Old World Blues main mod, and the other various sub mods for it, they're doing a fantastic job overall. At least for the most part, from what I can see. You know I don't look too closely, but uh, I think they're doing great, and we're lucky to have them. So regardless, I thoroughly enjoyed this uh, campaign playing as Maya, and uh, yeah, I would highly value, or highly recommend this, the definition of insanity mod for anyone who's interested. If you enjoyed the campaign though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, and have a great American rest of your day.